Hi guys, this is the first episode of the Closet Confections. Yes, you heard it right. Creme de la creme from the closets of the most fashionable people around the world served to you with a cherry on top. Today we'll take a sneak, or should I say sweet peek, at the closet of the international fashion blogger, cover girl, street style star, and simply beautiful young lady, Mary List. Let's go! Hi, Mary! Hi, Julie! Thank you so much for having us, and today we're going to take a look at your closet. Go ahead, welcome! Thank you! First, guys, when you walk into my apartment, you get to the closet right away because I'm a fashion blogger and I technically live in my closet. <laughs> Which is very realistic. Like I said, uh, Mary got a recent uh, billboard at Times Square, so congratulations on that. It's such a great achievement and thank you so much again for having us at your closet. <laughs> so I can see that in this apartment definitely the fashion blogger lives and all this shoe wall like a stylist dream with a, according to the colors. How many shoes do you have? I have over... 120 pairs, but this is not all of my shoes. I have some here that are not really pretty or like my sporty shoes. And also I do have another wardrobe in Moscow and I brought actually my favorite pieces there because I uh, tend to spend more time in Moscow lately. Oh, that's cool. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about your closet space? Like how do you store? Uh, you have like, I assume a lot of um, clothing, accessories, uh, I can see all shoes right yeah. here. How do you store your everything, all your wardrobe? When I moved to this apartment, I was 19 years old and I uh, didn't have a dedicated space for my closet. I didn't have so much clothes. So I came up with a shelf situation uh, just by the entrance so you can get some shoes just the time when you walk out. But also I got this uh, closet from Ikea, uh, which Honestly, this corridor should be much wider, but because I store there all my winter clothes and just some pieces that I don't wear on a daily basis during the most of the year in New York City. And farther away, I have actual wardrobe room where I store all my clothes pretty much wow. yeah, that I built myself. That's amazing. Sounds like you live in the closet. <laughs> I do. I do live in the closet. Yeah, unfortunately. And I, I've been meaning to move out from this apartment to have more storage space, but never happened because I do spend such little time in New York City. I think, you know, for some people that would be, it sounds like a dream to live in the closet. So because well, you have so many I, things. I'm going to say it's not a dream because you do have to have a person who organizes it. And I don't. So I do everything myself and this apartment becomes uh, such a mess when I make my outfits. It's just like clothes all over and I don't have time to clean it. Sometimes I just wish I can burn all the clothes. I do like minimalistic approach to life and I do like that a lot of people just have necessities and pieces that you can wear all the time. But unfortunately, this is not my life and this is not my job. So I do have to have a stylist type of equipment right in my apartment. I can help you with that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As you can see, guys, we're right here in the epicenter of the creative process where Mary creates all her outfits and looks for the fashion weeks, for the Instagram photo shoots. Speaking about your outfits, do you have like wardrobe piece that inspired your personal style? Like what made Mary List Mary List? I do have a lot of mail in me. So when I tried to discover myself, discover my style, honestly, I didn't come up with anything more obvious than, let me show you. It's simple white man short. Can you see? Can you? It's, it's so it's so tiny, such a tiny space here. Brigitte Bordeaux was always wearing white uh, man short, and I think this is a piece every woman should have. It is sexy, not obvious, and it does make you feel confident right away. Timeless yeah. classic. You ta cannot go yeah, wrong with it. But it has to be oversized, so your shape of the body looks very flattering. Like, don't wear this woman's shorts that are, you know, like tailored. Wearing, tailored, yeah, on the waist. Just go to men's short brands and find yourself a right sizing. Yeah, otherwise you will look like, you know, you're going to office. So if you want to be fashionable, just go to the men's department and get the biggest size of the men's white button down short that you can ever find. Not the biggest, but probably yeah, like but medium, like that fits large. you right. Speaking of the masculine part of your style, you wear a lot of suits, right? I um, do. Can you show us the suit that was photographed the most during the fashion week? I can, I, we can put a picture here because it's Michael Kors suit. 
that was photographed the most. I did wear it just once and I don't have it in my wardrobe because it was lonely. So, oh, yeah. do you have your favorite suits that you wear like on, you know, daily basis? I do and I don't because I tend to switch them a lot. But recently I got brown suit. I, I have it in Moscow too, but we're gonna put a picture again here. <laughs> it's from Artitze actually. And mm -hmm. it's such a good quality. When I got, I work with street style photographer to create this photo. And he was surprised when I said it from Artitze. Keep it in mind, it, it's a good mass market brand with amazing quality. I'm so happy you're bringing it up because I think the most important thing in suits is actually not the label, but it's like the fabric, how it yeah. fits you. And I think it's very important to put attention to like the actual fabric description, right? When yeah, and the fit. The suit. Always style your suit if you can find the right uh, tailoring size for you, always. To look expensive is to follow a few rules, right? To not wear very bright colors and just to have clothes perfectly fitted. This is the rule you have to know. Yes, and it's not expensive to do that. So it make sure not. it's like a necessary step. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. I think all of us want to know, very excited to know about the gifts that yeah. you're getting from the designers. Do you have your favorites? I'm gonna bring two gifts. One is from designer and another one just a gift that I got recently, but it's so warm to my heart. I even brought it with me to New York, even though I didn't need to. So I'm gonna show you, give me a second. <laughs> I'm playing with your shoes while you're it's gone. <laughs> Stylish dream. Uh, so the first piece would be this Bulgari bag. Oh, it's so beautiful. It, it is beautiful. I Unfortunately, I don't wear quite a lot because it's a more dressy side of the bag. Uh, but I did get it from the brand Bulgari and I always dreamed to have this bag. I could have purchased it, but I always thought that my first Bulgari bag should be from Bulgari when I start working with them. So it's just going to be a sign for me and uh, will be something that I'll keep for the rest of my life. So I wanted this bag. I was manifesting and working with Bulgari because it was my dream brand to work with. And you wouldn't believe, but two days later, Bul Bulgari emailed me asking me to um, create a promotion for their perfumes. So they gifted mm -hmm. me the bag and I did promote their perfume. So that was pretty amazing point in my life and I do cherish this bag a lot and I love it so much. You work hard, you get what you want. Yeah, yeah. You can see guys, that proves, that bag proves that your dreams come true but, yeah. if you work hard for them. Yeah. So don't give up. Yeah, definitely don't. <laughs> and the second piece is this uh, cozy, beautiful sweater from Brunella Cuccinelli. It's very cozy. Uh, yeah, it's very <gasps> it's cozy. True. Yeah, they has very like these cute cliffs and honestly it's so funny because I've been wanting to buy a new good cashmere sw sweater for this life and my boyfriend gifted it to me during New Year's. I was shocked first of all and I do wear this sweater all the time and I just love honestly even to sleep with it because it just has very sentimental value for me. Oh, that's so sweet and that's very thoughtful gift I feel like when yeah. you wear it something cozy, warm and it reminds you about yeah, the like a time. scarf or a good pair of gloves, something that you, keeps you warm during the whole time. Cozy chic. <laughs> that's guys an idea of how to be cozy and chic at the same time. So what i really excited to ask you, uh, if you have some pieces with history, I'm sure you do, maybe you got them like uh, somewhere far away from New York, from Moscow, like it was some very little town when you were traveling and in the thrift store, which does not exist anymore, or maybe you were gifted like from the family member uh, do you have like what are those pieces yeah uh, i have two first as you can see this already ugly valentina shoes which were my first valentina shoes i got for myself they a bit already uh, worn out and bited by my dog so that's a history too but i'm never gonna throw them away i saw them uh, these shoes first in paris and I thought that would be such a great pair to have as it has three colors, four colors actually. And at that time my wardrobe was very, very girly and I thought I would wear them all the time and I fell in love with the shoes. But Paris store, oh, I'm lying, it was in Milan. Milan store didn't have my sizing and they said that Venice had my sizes. So I decided to go to Venice wow. for uh, these particular shoes and I've never been in Venice so I thought that would be a good, good reason 
to, to travel there to get Valentina shoes. <laughs> I put them on hold in the store, but by the time I got there, they were sold. Yeah, it was a limited collection of Valentino. So then I discovered they had them in Paris and I was actually headed to Paris for Fashion Week. But because I mistook my flight, uh, I was supposed to fly out at 8 a.m. in the morning. I thought I was flying out at 8 p.m. in the evening. Yeah, I, I missed my flight to Paris. I had to take a train. It was not a pleasant experience because I was with like uh, six people in a coupé because oh, wow. the train was sold out as well. But I finally did get the shoes in uh, Paris. So this, this really has a history for me. And uh, one more piece that I don't have it in my closet, and it's in Moscow, but it's a um, Dior saddlebag. Was it my first Dior bag? Yeah, it was actually my first Dior bag. I dream to work with Dior house all the time. And we were in Cannes for Cannes Film Festival. And we were just walking in the beautiful La Crozette Boulevard with my assistant. And I, I was like, should I uh, do some damage or not? I didn't have uh, much money at the time. She's like, yeah, just do it. And we went to the war store uh, just across the uh, Cannes Film Festival. And when we got there, the same minute, Alan Delon was walking the red carpet. Wow and everybody were cheering him and we went to the store, we drank some coffee and I, I finally got myself a Dior saddlebag. So that was a moment and uh, I'd always dreamed about this like red carpet type of moment in my life. And at the red carpet I was wearing Dior dress, beautiful red Dior dress. Wow. Yeah, so it was a really like turning point for me as well. That Something what happens like when you go with the flow. Yeah, right. yeah. I mean, Dior dress was planned, but I, I, I thought I needed this bag because all the influencers had it and I didn't work with Dior. Uh, and I, I really, really wanted to have something that uh, would just bring me closer to my dream in my wardrobe. What I wanted to say about these shoes, that this season is actually also about like candy colors for footwear. So I feel like they would work also for this season. Yeah, I need to fix them though, because my dog ate them a bit. Thank you, Tosh. But he added a part of history to yeah, this pair, so yeah. it increased value. What about like some vintage pieces? In You love vintage, right? Like you go to like thrift stores when you travel or in New York, in Moscow. Uh, can you show some pieces that you got, that you love, that you wear? I actually, uh, I, I don't like to go to thrift stores because I just feel overwhelmed. I like when thrift stores are very well organized. Mm -hmm. So the only time I go is by, with my assistant because she likes to kind of dig into it and just find right pieces. You do have to spend mm -hmm. a lot of time, which I usually don't have. Like at least you have to have like three, four hours to find perfect pieces. And I do like to mm, shop on this like Instagram pages or uh, websites where you could actually see vintage clothing. The girls pre-select the pieces. Of course, it's a bit more expensive, but they just uh, find the right, the perfect pieces. I have beautiful Saint Laurent jacket that I found in Paris. Can you show it? I don't have it with me, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, but I got it for like 200 euros or something like that. Oh, wow. Yeah, but I'm gonna show you one vintage piece that has a, a history for me. This no name jacket. This jacket is actually from USSR and it's my grandma jacket. Wow, uh, it looks so beautiful. It looks so modern. It's yeah, timeless. That's yeah. why it's so cool. Still. Yeah, it, I think it's like 70 years old or something like wow. that. Uh, my grandma was really stylish. She liked to put all the colorful clothes. She has the most beautiful dresses. And I, I actually, when she got older, she stopped wearing fashionable pieces. She, she started dress more comfortable. And I literally shopped all her closet. And she passed away, so every time I'm wearing it, I'm just gives me sentimental value as well. As you can see, a lot of my pieces are attached to something or to some turning point in my life. I feel like that's what makes them personal, yeah. special. Yeah. So I'm so happy to see yeah. that jacket. It's very beautiful. Yeah, it's, I can wear it to show you how it fits. It fits perfectly. Like, I think people back then, I don't think it's expensive, but because I think people did put some you know, um, effort into. Sorry, I have a stylist yeah. moment. Stylist, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fixing. I don't know, I love this and jacket. I feel like so you could draw up sleeves. Yeah. I love, her. I love it. It looks so cool. Yeah, and it's warm. I just, I, I don't know, I like the clothes that were made back then. The quality is just so much better yes. than nowadays, honestly. Like, I don't think it was an expensive jacket. I think it was maybe like 40, 50 euros, but mm -hmm. it feels like a good Chanel jacket, honestly. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's another tip for you guys. Uh, shop your grandma's clothing. 
um, search for the hidden treasures there and play with their like style with the modern pieces like Mary did. Yeah. So definitely now as seventies came to the uh, yes. to trend. Yeah. Exactly. The question that I'm dying to ask you that uh, we all have some pieces in our wardrobe that we don't wear anymore, but for some reason we do not throw them away. Do you have those kind of pieces? Yeah. Just give me one second. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I feel like every time it's so fun to see like what people are keeping in their closets and whether it's pieces with a sentimental value or it's just something that, I don't know, you just want to keep it forever. <laughs> and you will never sell it, you will never throw it away. But wow, wow, that's a Beyonce dress. Let me help you. This is beautiful Giovanni dress with Swarovski crystals. Uh, it's so heavy. You could, it's pretty heavy. Oh wow, yes. yeah, it's very it heavy. It is very heavy. Um, I purchased this dress for the wedding of my good friend. At that time, I was dreaming about this Giovanni dress. It was like a thing to have for fashionable girls. Uh, famous naked Kim Kardashian or uh, actually Marilyn Monroe was the first one who wore a yes. naked dress for the president. So I, I really wanted to have this naked moment uh, with crystals. I did wear it once, unfortunately, because it's so uncomfortable to sit on these beautiful crystals oh and it's just way too heavy. But I do think I, I, I might have a moment in my life where I'm gonna rewear it again. I was tempted to give it away for so many times, but I just think I think it's a truly special piece to have in your collection. Are you collecting anything? Uh, shoes. Like, sho oh, yeah. yes. I can see yeah, that. Shoes. I do have a thing for shoes. Not bags, not denim. A lot of my girlfriends, they do have a thing for good denim. I don't. I always will have a second thought of purchasing a bag or a jean or a coat, anything. Not the shoes. Like every time I see shoes I like, I'm very picky with my shoes. I know I'm going to wear them for a very long time. Some of my pairs are seven, eight years old and they're still perfect. I I do um, fix them all the time and just uh, keep them because shoes something that brands don't give me also mm -hmm. for like fashion week or for the shoots so I do have to have a lot of pairs just to be able to style any clothes I, I get to wear during my shoots or life or anything like that. So shoes for you it's like an investment right? Yeah, investment yeah but also I just I, I don't know why I just have a thing some pairs I never wear for example these beautiful Giuseppe Zanotti shoes with the bow they look so so beautiful on your feet and just make I don't know just it's a statement definitely mm -hmm. but it's so hard to style it you have to wear in absolutely nothing very short mini and that's it so all attention like on a the blazer, shoes. Long, uh, long yeah blazer. that's what I actually style it with like a long Dior blazer like mm -hmm. men's blazer with these shoes and just naked legs and that's it where what do else? you wear them for like fashion week yeah it was event? fashion week yeah it was like some some sort of event but I do want to have some moment in my life where I get to wear them I'm sure time. you will hopefully yeah but I, I'm never gonna get rid of them. Some other like interesting pairs like Kat McConey, very colorful, mm -hmm. summery sandals, kitten heels. They're very cool but again they're very hard to style. They're very unique definitely but you have to wear certain clothes. They will have their like, special moment. Yeah, yeah. Once it will yeah. be the right time but if you need shoes for the fashion week you know who to reach out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I definitely do. <laughs> All right, guys, I think we asked Mary a lot of questions and hopefully we answered a lot of the questions that you were wondering. Thank you so much for watching this video till the very end. See you very soon. Bye. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe <laughs> to this channel. And to this channel. Yeah. yeah.